You didn't miss a thing. We're just right at the crash site. So, without further ado, let us kill the three aliens that are right next to me. And that would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are thirteen aliens total in this mission. So, let us kill them. Because it's money time. Oh boy, it's one of those. Well, we know how to deal with that. 83% and 99%. Of course, I don't have ammo for my particle. Ah, I only took one hit. 110 mechanical. Well, hit some hidden dude. That, was, that went pretty far. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see, there's one up there, there's one down there. Okay. Well, if you're up here. Come on, I know you're here. There you are! Oh, there's two here. You can't tell on this map because the big triangle definitely overshadows the little one right there. So it was impossible to tell. Now you probably still have action points. Yes, you do. So, let us burst shot again. Ah, one hit! Come on, miss. Miss to the left and hit that guy. Come on, do it, do it. Ah, it's like in my face, do it! <laughs> Did you get the sexual innuendo there? Uh, well. He's got line of fire now. Okay, 85%, no less. Uh, two mechanical damage. 86, it's a little better. And 129 was not in a weak spot either. He just got 129. He just kicked some ass. Um, it's one of you. Hey, 83% again. Uh, that was a miss. <laughs> well, 71 mechanical and uh, 6 mechanical. And he gets a particle in the face for 112 and he's unconscious. He has more than 112 life, doesn't he? Apparently not. Apparently his life totally sucks ass. I mean, it just, it just ruined his day. Like, oh, I'll just shoot you. And... Well, look on the bright side. What bright side? Ah, uh, you don't gotta use stim packs on him. You can just use a med pack. Apparently, he doesn't have 112 life. Well, um, perfect. Okay then, that would be. You have the scanner. No, you have the scanner. Okay, let's all mill about and get out of here. The first time I played this game, I didn't actually really use the Chem Warriors, or the Flame Guns for that matter. I just, um, I never saw the viability of them because you had to get so close. And I was on normal difficulty though, and at the same time, my soldiers were, uh, they were immortal. They couldn't die, they just would always fall unconscious. And that actually has the benefit of, you don't have to go to their corpse and heal their criticals. When they're on the ground, you can't heal them at all. But they're not dead. So it helped out a little bit. But it was my first time playing through. I didn't want to make it too difficult for myself. So, And it was on normal, like I said. So you got more money. So I wasn't bleeding. I wasn't hemorrhaging all this money like I am now. But um, And maybe the swarms gave me more money as well. But that's probably not true. I think swarms are just... They're just swarms. They they give you a set amount based upon where you are in the game and how many you've killed. I think, I think the more swarms you kill, the uh, the more each consecutive swarm is worth. Enter. Hmm. Well, an observer found me. Um, I can never remember those other things are called phantoms. Ah, you paralyzed as. Ouch. That hurt too. Uh, that was 39 critical fire damage. And it's my turn now. And he falls over. Dude, he suffers 76 critical fire area damage. And then another 56 critical fire area damage. Fire and chemical damage, by the way, guys, gives you three consecutive area effect damages. You have to resist all three. I think that might go down the next round for two and then one, which probably explains why people they, they can croak under this. But I haven't actually observed the second and third round of that consecutively because I never wanted to spend more than one round in the fire. 
but I have noticed that it is three three resists which is which is shitty because that could kill him uh, okay well you got uh, 78 percent for a burst shot and 67 mechanical along with four mechanical along with 43 mechanical and he dies yeah, weapons or he dies let's see uh, there's a couple over there as you're paralyzed, so we'll have to send somebody else to scout. So, oh, well then, um... Apparently we don't, because... They're... They're over there. Uh, they're on the second floor of this ship. So, to be honest, if we can all get up here, we can all be safe. But I don't think we can, because just don't have the action points. So hide behind this tree. And you hide behind this tree. And Samantha, you can hide behind a tree. It's not even a tree. Whatever the hell this is. Bones or salt or minerals of some kind. They're all over the place. Look. I'd say they're just rocks. But trying to get up here as far as I can. There's nothing I can do about it if those guys die from fire area damage. It's just... Blah, you know. Oh, you can actually get up this far, so go that way. And you can actually get up this far, so go up there. And you can get up here. So get up here. And you could walk a little bit further, but not much. We'll have to end this turn. Okay. Apparently, Jesse Stryker is now paralyzed. They're getting stronger with their hypnotize. I need the advanced shield now. The advanced mind shield. Hmm. Oh, ow. Okay. And I'm getting shot at again and again and again. Now. And he falls over. Yeah. Um, apparently, I've suffered one fire area chemical dam, a fire damage this turn, not three, just one, and I actually absorbed it, so that's pretty good. Ah, uh, but Conrad also now suffers 34 critical, critical fire area damage, which means he has to be healed again. Maybe that's why they die because they can continuously suffer critical wounds. As long as the fire persists. So let's go back. Yeah, he's got more crits. See that? Well, as... Oh, I have a few more subscribers. I can't remember the names at the top of my head. But when I finish this Let's Play, I'll write down the names of the subscribers. And the next Let's Play, I'll name some people after you guys. Because um, you guys are interested in my stuff. So I'll give you the benefit of a soldier name, and I'll try to match gender, but I think everyone's a guy who's subscribing. I don't know. Um, it's kind of it's one of those things where it's the internet, you know. <laughs> so, um, let's shoot you. If we can hit you, apparently. We can't. I hit a hidden unit, though. But that one was absorbed. And he gives me a particle shot in the face. It's only 19, though, and it wasn't crit. So there's a chance my accuracy will not suffer. Yes, I still have 72%. And I missed. Apparently I... Kill a hidden unit. Hits a hidden unit for 92 damage. Kills a hidden unit. Hits a phantom for 16. I'm not gonna... I'm not displeased about killing a f hidden unit. It's actually kind of nice. Hmm, well. Go up to the body of that thing. Ow, his reactionary fire is trying to hypnotize me. That's one hell of a reaction. You hypnotize, it kind of sucks when that happens. But, come on, die. There you go. That was 30 EXP. Hey, I already killed the one behind him. Apparently. Let's see, there's one up here. There's one here. And there's one there. So, hmm. Ah, where are you going? 
Well, you didn't have many action points left anyway. Okay, well, if I move here... I'm not sure I'll see anybody, but I'm hoping I will. Ah, there you are. That's not in range of anything. Hey, well... I have you who can come here and take some 99 critical right in the ass. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Now, right in the sphincter. Well, if I come here, that's a... Uh, oh, there's the hidden unit. It was a Vipon. How about that? Well... 99%, I mean, it's right there. Uh, 10 chemical damage. 10. That blows ass. Well, since you can't get there anyway, why don't you heal his crits? And right after you heal his crits, heal his normal wounds. Oh, ouch. Three stim packs worth. Which I don't think I'll have the action points for be honest. But I'll try. Because I want him to have higher accuracy. Yeah, I don't think I'll have the action points for another one. Because I have only two action points left. Well, um, on the way to shoot, it's possible he could use a little of his action points to, to inter intervene and pump you up with some more healing juice and still shoot this asshole for 87% burst. It took 10 chemical area damage. I mean, geez. 63 and no line of fire? That's bullshit. I got no line of fire. Well, you're healed. Uh, what's your percentage? 85. See, it would have been sucky if he hadn't been healed, but and he's dead. 40 EXP. Woohoo! Killed the terror floater. Okay, okay. Well, there's still that dude up there that I can't target because he'll be behind that. And I don't have any good grenades at the moment. There's a guy up here who I'm not sure I'll have any action points to do anything about. But... Oh. It's a regular priest. Hmm. Well, it's 38. I can actually crouch. And still burst him for 84% accuracy. And only one shot it took to kill him. 102. But that's not a guarantee. So I don't feel bad about it. And there's only one more way the hell over there before I have to actually go up different levels. So, you know, I kind of want to keep you near him. So if he takes more crits, you can heal him. The other guy on the floor, he's not in fire and we already healed him. So he's, he's fine. But... Yeah, you're going to be gimp for a while, because I need to keep you sort of out of the picture. And 57 action points left. Um, you can stay there. And as, 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 just go here. And we'll end this round. But something did. The guy above is hypnotizing us. Oh, ouch. Took it like a champ, right in the shoulder, right in the... Ah, uh, okay. That was 80 critical, but I'm still standing. Oh, good, good, good. I probably should try and scout him. Who shot me? It was... It was over here. It was... Probably the guy up there. Yeah. So he saw me from the second floor here and shot all the way down to just ruin my day. So what we're going to have to do, you guessed it, move him out of the line of fire after he stops reserving his shot. And get him closer to someone who can heal him. I'll, I'll just tap out this little guy. And grab the med kit one more time. Well, this one's full. And that's five. And, hmm... I'll pump you full twice. That wait, 69, I can use just two more of these. Even though it did waste 10 points in this pack, which is two and a half crit wounds worth of med juice. That's okay. More people have 
med packs to go around, so I'll be okay. Get you out of the line of fire. Did you absorb the fire damage? Yeah, you did. Did you? And you absorbed the second fire damage. So you you aren't getting any crits out of that. 208 wounds. He's got to stay for the next round just in case you get more crits. So uh, Samantha, you're on sort of semi just med duty for a while. Sorry to do that to you, but I mean we have to. We have no choice. We're out of options. So. I'd say we all need to hover around here because, uh, all things considered, I kind of don't want to go upstairs at the moment without having full array of action points. So, you're on guard duty. You are here. You are here. Well, you, I could send you to the middle. Yeah, no problem there. And, uh, as... Well, you, you can actually go up and scout around. Who's got the scanner? Um, there's no one up here. But they're all up there. Actually, you're up there. Maybe, just maybe, as you have enough action points to do this. Hold on. I doubt it, but you just might. Because you have to go through this door. And it's probably going to be an observer. No, it's a priest. Well, priests and observers can both hypnotize you, so... Makes sense. Uh, and it's a commander, but I really don't care at the moment. 93% accuracy. 11 mechanical, 49 mechanical, and 36 mechanical, and he died. Let's end round. Anything gonna happen? They all gonna, ooh, well, yeah, well, that guy over there came into view. I kind of like that because I didn't really want to have to run to him and scout him out. It's nice that he came to me. 84%. Go Blackworth. Go Blackworth. It's your birthday. He absorbed your damage, though. He only got 29 from that. And he got 30 from that. You're going to have to burst him again. Of course, you drift to the right on that shot, so adjust your sights. 14. And absorbed. 26 isn't enough to fire again. Come on, Blackie. You didn't get any. Oh, well. Not everyone's perfect all the time. Let's do a snipe shot. Or a hip shot. Damn, this guy's just... Fuck. Okay, uh, the fire's gone. Oops. You know, um... There we go. He's not gonna suffer any more wounds. Okay, good. Uh, if I reserve a burst shot... And this thing doesn't bug out on me. I can get up to here. Alright. I use my hand, I duck, I get 75% accuracy. Uh, how many shots did he take now? That was six shots. Of course, the last shot was only nine damage, but it was enough to kill him. But damn. Okay, as you're up here now, uh, check the scanner. There's one over here. And actually, there's only two aliens left, and they're over there. So... Let's just get over there. I was actually considering editing this out. I was actually considering starting the game with me finished with this mission. I would have robbed you guys of some footage, but it could have saved some time. Oh, hello. What have we here? Um, I have no line of fire on you, just line of sight. And how to get line of sight? I won't figure that one out. Don't even have line of sight there. Oh, I mean line of fire. Oh, 160 critical, and he's on the ground. Dude, he took it up the ass. And you guys, you tapped out all my AP. Fucking phantom. Um, Gonna have to come up here. And that's kind of really... Everybody, so to speak... You can do 110 action points to get there, but we'll we'll send you here. You can come up the lift, and come on, come on, don't be shy. Okay, end turn. Ouch! Okay, that's some bullshit right there. I want to call the bullshit flag. How I can't shoot him through that. The the aliens have their own rules for line of sight. That is plainly obvious. 
or or they they just have clipping, you know. Ugh. I mean, he clearly shot me. Right there. And I don't have line of fire there. At all. So. Um, where's your fucking weapon? Oh god, I dropped it when I was healing and I never picked it up. You're useless. You can heal and that's about oh, why didn't I heal. Because I'm gimp, that's why. Um... If I shoot here, he gets 72 crit chem damage, and he dies, and kind of gonna have to just heal you guys out. Oops! Sing the song. <laughs> well, there's enough for four crit wounds out of this kit, and you need a lot more than that. That's okay, because you can borrow his. Hey, why not, right? There you go. You still have 40 action points, and how much is it to shoot? Now I have line of fire. Yeah. And you're dead. That is the last of the aliens. Thank you, and end of mission. Uh, no promotions, but then again, we're all max rank anyway. There were 14 aliens, not 13, because there were two and one when I first found out, found the northern guys. Let's go one hour in, and you know what I haven't been doing this whole time? Timing it. Yeah. So, I'm down to 8 million. I need to start the timer. I'll probably stop this thing in like 35, 40 minutes, and then that'll be the end of this Let's Play. Uh, production of Particle Rifle is finished. You're gonna need the ammo. I mean, we saw that here. Just put everybody on the fucking ammo. And it's going to take five days and 16 hours for the ammo. So, there you go. Uh, research of antimatter grenade is complete. Uh, is this end of month already? I guess. It's January 2009. I'm excellent, but I'm negative 285,000. Uh, yeah, that was, that was it. Um, go to research. Proximity stasis grenade, stasis rocket. Chemical grenade mark three. Very useful. Okay. Actually, if I go to the base and the UFOtopia, I want to check something. Um, vehicles, weapons, armors, alien life forms. See, the destroyer is is against fire and chemical is 60 and 16 is against mechanical is 75. The phantom against fire 55 and chemical 70 and 100 against mechanical. So they actually are one of the few that fire works better on. For these guys, chemical works best on because it's only 60, but it's 80 fire and 110 regular. The telemats I don't care because I don't really find them anymore. The observers, the chasers, the inquisitors are. 50 chemical and 60 fire, so chemical wins out again. Look, against fire, zero armor. Against chemical, 120, and against mechanical, 20. Sentinels, yeah, 60 and 60 for fire and chemical, and 50 mechanical, so it's actually easier to blow them up physically. And preachers, preachers. Chemical, 20. Fire, 110, and mechanical, 80. So as you can see, there's only like two things that are weak against fire. Um, the Vipons. Yeah, okay, chemical 10, and fire 20, and mechanical 40. So, there's only a few that fire works really well on, and that's the larva, and the uh, terror is at 65 and 65 against chemical fire, so chemical can win there too. And, oh, right here, the chaser is its fire, because it's 15 fire, and they have 55 chemical, but only 30 mechanical. And um, chemical is only 50, we know. Preachers don't use fire. They have 110 against it. So the phantoms are fire, and uh, so that's why fire doesn't win out over chemical most of the time. And alien intentions. Uh huh. I've done one, two. I've done four commanders so far. But I have to research more to find out how much Evonium they have for the mothership. And the first time I played through, they actually had 
which was nice. It made me feel better about myself. Um, that was just a little interesting trivia for you guys, if you were curious to know about the why I like chemical over everything else. Because, well, that's why. Fire doesn't win out. Production of the rifle ammo is complete. Well, then. We're going to have to do the wasp keeper armor or the personal, personal anti-gravity system. And that's going to take 31 days. Damn. So if I build the wasp keeper armor instead, which is beneficial, 10 days. And the advanced mine shield should come next. There's a lot more I want to build, like these antimatter grenades. I have a lot of stasis grenades, so I should probably equip some of those. You know, maybe some build some fire grenades. But let's see. Um, there's the anacondas. They're pretty good as a vehicle. They really are. Uh, I had two of them for the last mission, and they work pretty well. And they also have a lot of action points and a lot of accuracy. No missiles, but they have a particle cannon. So again, I want to build a cyclops or two just to test them out. And I haven't even researched, it seems, the final ship. But there's a particle shield. Yay! It's a beautiful shield, ain't it? 300,000. Well, research of hammer vehicle is complete. Exterminator, the interceptor. Never built one, but I know what they look like. They're white, pretty large. I wonder if an exterminator can go one-to-one -one with a cruiser and actually beating with the particle shield, particle cannon, and best missile. Don't know. Um... I'm down to 7 million, 29,806. Chemical Rocket Mark II. I don't even need the Mark II, is really, not some of these things, but. Um, proximity Stasis Grenade. Now it's just icing, because I really don't need any of this stuff, but. It's the last in the tech tree, so why not, right? More Wasp Keeper armor is being produced. Research of Chemical Grenade Mark III is complete. I like that. Stun Grenade Mark II, Project Centaurus, you know, Exterminator Stasis Rocket. I might. Rockets are good for some of the last missions. If you conserve them. Yeah, if you can really conserve them and save them, they're good. Uh, Alright. Uh, espionage, Ilya. Pause and center. Well, Sirtis Major, Sirtis Major, let's send you. Look, I still need to build shields. God. 20 minutes out. UFO detected. Patria, you could send one guy with a crappy ion shield out to intercept him. Let's still go 20 out. And pause and center. Peloponnesia, huh? Well, one guy in Thermos can probably take you down. Still go here because I want to monitor you. And let's go. I might get no mission. I'll get a mission out of this right here. Yeah. Okay, intercept. This one's worth more. So let's get that one. Now, I know I got Wasp Keeper armor and I know I got better weapons. So I'm not going to forget to equip them before we take off. I'm not sure how many wasp keepers I have. I was gonna build the last eight, and I'm not sure how many I have left on the books before that is done. So I have 19 chemical ammo, ammo of the 21, so I'm doing good. Um, let's see, change ama. I have three more wasp keepers. Okay. So there you go. One, two, three. Warn officer. Woo That's all I got, guys. Sorry. I'm building more, so patience is a virtue. This person who's not on the mission, I should swap armor out. But I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. <laughs> It'll bite me in the ass, watch. Okay, particle weapons. I just built some particle guns. Look, look! I built the ammo, and sudden, suddenly, I built 40 ammo clips and I have 40 spare clips. But suddenly all my guns now have 30 of 30. I don't get that. I'm not going to question it, but I don't get it. Because I checked it beforehand, and none of my particle weapons had ammo, and now all of them have ammo. I guess once you start building a couple ammo clips, they instantly full, but I only built 40 ammo. Actually, my particle rifle ammo is... Oh, is it 37? I know why, because look, when I grab, 36. That's why. It's assuming that the ammo for here is also in the gun, so when I grab it, it automatically uh, kits one out. Hey, that's not a bad system. That doesn't... Okay, I got two chem warriors. I probably don't need three chem warriors. So... Or four chem warriors, for that matter. So you can drop the chem ammo. Particle rifle, eight, seven... That's six rifles. No one drops particle weapons, unfortunately. You have to definitely build them yourself. 
But I can now sell these EEW rifles. Yay! Okay, guys, of the ones who still have EEW, you're gonna graduate to Particle. They're also, I believe, lighter weight than EEW. Weight 32. Weight 25, yeah. Some of the better guns are much lighter weight. Which is, which is cool. Probably made of carbon fiber or some other alien alloy. Who knows, right? <laughs> so, alright, now let's check weight on everybody. Your weight's good, your weight's good, your weight's good, your weight's good. Your weight is not good. Well, well, fucking ditch these grenades. They suck anyway. And, hmm, I rarely have to load more ammo. So why don't I just do this? Yeah, it makes me feel better. And you're okay, but I really don't give a fuck about these grenades, but you're still okay. But look, I have a lot of stasis grenades now, so... I think I'm going to replace those antimatter grenades, uh, my plasmas with stasis grenades. If anyone has plasma grenades in their inventory, they're going to be replaced with stasis grenades. I get them from enemies, I mean, I've got 60 and haven't built a single one. So, and these phosphor grenades are too weak in fire to even care about. So everyone should get two of these. Uh, why not? I mean, they really do damage. Uh, the only thing better is antimatter grenades. Which are nice. The collateral damage is pretty high, though. So. Uh, 102 of 100. Yeah, you can't get any more strength, either. You, 50 strength is where you stopped. I never gave you any strength. I just gave you 80 throwing. Well, that's because you're the Blackworth, and I, I gave you 80 throwing because she said, yeah, go ahead, kick me out and throw in. But don't worry, I'll give you, I'll give everyone the anti-gravity device, and 100 and f fuck. You can't. This, this, this damn thing, this shield it weighs 20. So, um, as you're not going to have grenades. Not until we get antimatter device. And this is crap, this is crap. Let's um give you a couple of these. And you're right at 114. These are pretty much shit. I'm never going to use them. I built them, I used them for a while. They were okay, but their usefulness did not last. So, plasma really sucks. Yeah, it might get lucky, but who cares, right? There. I'll just, I'll just do this now while I'm in the doing mood, I guess you could say. Here, just um, reorganize, pump one in. I really don't care about these stun grenades either. You're good in weight. Let's drop these. Drop this phosphor grenade, drop this stun grenade, and give you a couple of these. Same thing with you. This is just general maintenance. I've been meaning to do this for a while. So I still have 161 plasma grenades. I'll probably sell those, get some money back from them. Launch! So let's go to base and sell what I don't need. Uh, 21 alien artifacts for 1,032,000. Not bad. Chemo guns, nah. Flamethrowers! I built them. I'm not using them. So, honestly, I'm not using them. Maybe I should keep one just for that and keep five ammo clips. I mean, just in case, but I really don't think I'm ever going to use them. Plasma pistols, sorry. Plasma pistol ammo, sorry. Just a little more money. I've been getting rifles probably off the chasers I've been killing. A couple more ion pistols, some of the ion pistol ammo, a couple more of these rifles, some of the ammo, and now the EW rifles. Sorry, don't need you anymore. Won't use you. 90 clips of ammo, don't need ya. <laughs> this will set me up for a little while. Obviously, but I need to build some more fighters and some more bases, so... Let's see, um... Plasma grenades, never gonna use them again. 162, I think. So, might as well. Just ditch them. If you're not gonna use them, don't keep them. What, you're gonna keep them for mementos? Well, nah. I stopped being sentimental a long time ago when it came to shit like that. There's all my phosphor grenades. Beekeeper armor. Don't need these eight anymore. And... I think that's everything. Well, I still have a laser cannon I can sell. Some shitty fire hammers I can sell. Some crappy energy shields I can sell. And that's everything. That's 6,934,300. 
Now I'm set with 14 million instead of that seven, six and a half million I had before. That'll last a while. It won't last forever, but hey. And here comes Mr. Transport. Begin mission. Time to flex our particle wings. I want to do that with the ships, too. Let's see, they're all over the place. Wow. Any level two? A couple in the ship only. Well, uh, the, this map, huh? The out. I hate this map. It's all rocky terrain and stuff. It's all a convoluted maze. It's a pain in the ass. I bet you some of you guys are cheering. Yay, he's not going to have so many chem warriors. Yeah, two's plenty. Really, it is. As long as you use them properly. Of course, more is kind of merrier. Uh, especially in close quarters. Like base missions, maybe, where you can sneak up around the corners and stuff. But out in the open, just a couple is fine. Um, but I didn't mind having them, and I still don't mind having them. Maybe this is just one of those things for any of you guys who want to play the game later. It's like, do you want to do fire? Flamethrowers? Their, usef their usefulness is only against, like, three aliens. So, really, because it's so limited, no. You, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't need to. Uh, chemical? Sure. Chemical really feels but chemical grenades are probably more efficient, more a little bit probably more expensive in the long run, but a lot easier to make, so end of turn. Hmm, here comes one. Comes around the corner, I didn't expect that. You know how I'm quiet during the load screens, just in case. I, I chop out the footage, but sometimes I entertain myself with so much witty banter. It's um hmm. Ah, he's hypnotizing me. Eh? I see. And then Let's see. All your base are belong to us. Yes. Tribute to Zero Wing. Bad English. <laughs> well, uh, if I move up one, now I have line of fire. So, I will shoot you for 90%. I don't have to crouch. But if I crouch, it's 99%. So, there you go. Uh, particle was absorbed. Uh, apparently, that didn't do shit. There's the bug again. I hit him twice. No register. And he took 36 mechanical... Um, I hit him for 36 mechanical, he hit me for 36 critical mechanical. Hey, at least we're concise with each other. Ninety-nine percent. Um, 26 mechanical damage, 10 mechanical damage. Uh, these guys are better with chemical damage, apparently, but, um, not sure my chem warrior can get up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's more than fine. Okay. Let's zap him. Yeah! And a weak spot for 150. Should have done that from the beginning. I would have saved all this ammo. Okay. Ah, uh, there's a couple down here. I should probably scout them. There they are. This is what the grenades are for. <laughs> they might absorb the stasis grenade. But, let's just throw one. Look how powerful that grenade is. I love it. Uh, one of them croaked, one of them didn't. I can shoot him for 96% hip shot. And he's dead. Yeah, there you go. You killed two... Uh, what are they called? Phantoms. Yes. Never can remember that even if I say it 16 times in advance. You killed two phantoms. You should feel proud about yourself. You do, man. Add two more bodies to the list. There you are. Hi there. Um, thirty-three percent. Let's make that ninety-nine percent. Or nine. Well, ninety-nine percent, and you missed, man. You should feel ashamed of yourself. Sixty-two mechanical damage. Fifty mechanical damage, and he's still not dead. Well, yeah, you should feel ashamed. You should feel ashamed. Uh, go up here for fifty AP, and snipe him for ninety-nine percent. And there you go, he's dead. Look when he dies, like, he just leaves a skeleton. Like, I didn't think instantaneously. It's like, when he when he gets exposed to this atmosphere, it's like oxygen just corrodes him instantly or something. I don't know, I can't explain it. But, there you go, he's, he's instantly a skeleton. It's kind of creepy when you think about it. Uh, let's see, who got damaged? There you are. You did it. You got damaged. So, your damage goods for a little while, um, but not for long. Again, maybe I should uh, come into battle with all the med kits in hand. That way, I can save that little bit of action points. 
But a lot of people do have stim packs in hand, which can help. Some action, some action points as well. So, um, you're all over here, so my guys shouldn't have a problem. Sort of just walking up. And I actually am happy that I got you guys subscribing to me, you new, you new subscribers. Makes me feel there's like a sort of empowerment when someone says, "Hey, I like your stuff." And even though it's just my simple little let's play. And me throwing out my commentary, uh, some infinite words of wisdom, some banter, some funny or not so funny jokes, some rep repetitive jokes. But again, it's still entertaining. Uh, well, it still encourages me to entertain, which I like. I like to be. I am a monkey in the zodiac, and I am metal, and I am a Leo, which translates to wanting to have attention. Where do the entertainers go to be entertained? And that's me. So, even though astrology isn't a science, it, it's just for fun. I like having fun. So, uh, why not? 92%. Crouch down, make it 99. You better die. 21 mechanical. 74 mechanical. And 114, which was not a crit. And it still is delicious. You have 39 action points. Go scout him out. And now you have 27 action points, which is enough to do a hip shot. 94%. 46 mechanical. And you got pelted with the... Jesus Christ, 122 critical, man. You took it like a champ. I know I say that a lot, and that's probably overused now. But he did. I mean, call it what it is. Oh, he's a commander. Oh, I wasted shots. Oh, well, I didn't know I was going to waste them. I like the particle guns. They're nice. They're really nice. Well, let's um, do some maintenance. 122 in the gut. Look at that. At least it wasn't in the face. He was my scanner guy. Well, you know what I'm going to have to do. Oops, I don't have the action points. Well, next turn. Next turn. If any of you used to watch Chippendale's Rescue Rangers like a lot, like on the Disney afternoon after school in the 90s. Then one episode was Cuckoo Cola, and there was like this clan or something, this this cult, basically. And these mice were, you know, they were fizzing, you know. They dumped all your goods and valuables into this vat of Cuckoo Cola to get fizzed, and you gave up your earthly wealth to be part of the clan and it was really corrupt because it was like the Catholic Church they just want your money and they're preaching dogma and misinformation but okay I won't oh Catholicism sorry if you guys are Catholic I just I love making fun of stuff so forgive me for making fun of it <laughs> but anyway the, the, actually the whole episode was a satire uh, in that very in that very um light making fun of religion I think so He's facing the other way. I got him from. I got him in the ass. I got him in his exhaust pipe. Woohoo! End mission. End turn. Ah, floating terror. He came out. Now he's running away. What a pussy. Hmm. I was pouring me some drink and it overflowed. Well, he ran that way. Well, let's see. You're on his body. And you're going to have to pick up his scanner. Find out where that guy went. He ran that way. The fuck did you run this way? No one knows. He was just, he's just booking it. He's like, we're fucked! And you are, 71, a weak spot for 146. Yeah, you are pretty fucked. But that's not the point. The point was is it was really funny to watch you just, just, you know, run away like that. Like, I'm getting out of here. Anyway, on that Chip and Dale episode, the song was actually, um, they used a commercial for Cuckoo Cola as, like, their, their dogma, you know. And the song was, Come along, you belong, feel the fizz of Cuckoo Cola. Now, I don't know the whole lyrics. I can't remember them. But, it, like, it's something-something, and it rhymes with berry, because the next line was telling you the flavors, and one of them was cherry. 
Zum and Cherry, come along. You belong. Feel the fizz of Groody Cola. And I think it did it twice. Doom, 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 come along. Oh, there you are. Well, no one has any action points doing anything about you, so... I'll just have to mill about here. And we'll have to deal with you next round. Oh, yes. Next round. I still have people who haven't even gone yet. So... Let's go this way. Yeah, you guys, you can cut him off. Go this way. And you can go this way. Okay, then. And now we will... And turn. Let me clean up some of this mess I just made. Ah, they're all coming down to greet me, all four of them. Oh, oh, as you took, oh, yeah, they took your shield away. 25 crit, you absorb that shot. He has nowhere to go. He's all confused. Uh, you took 33 more crit, then you missed. Okay, that's good, that's good. And. Did you fall over? No, you absorbed it. Come on, bunched up like this. Um, I didn't give you any, any grenades, and you only had one. Oh, come on! No, 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 I want to use my grenades. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, he blew up his box. This is why we have stasis grenades. This is why we've been collecting them. I mean, look at this bunched up. Yeah! All but one. All but one, my friend. Yeah! Who's the man? You guys are the ones who chose to come down. Wow! 74 crit damage. Well. Uh-huh. You did your thing. Eh. Well, you have a med kit you can use, a stim pack right away. And now you can use your med pack. Heal him up. And you can use it again on you. And one more time to put you with the stim pack maximum. I'll waste 10 more action points. I will use one more on you. And I will ditch that 7 because it's not AP viable. I will just use two fresh ones because we have them to spare. Of course, I don't have any more action points to do this with, so... You do, though. And the thing I like about the particle weapon is it's at 30 again, like the plasma was. So it's really nice. Shoot him! Shoot him! That was one damage, then 46. Damn, man. Well, I should be bursting him, but I have no idea when he's about to croak, so. Okay, he died. And I think everyone's healed now. Okay, end of mission. Sweet, Staff Sergeant promotion. Awesome. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's go back to the game. Um, right after that mission, I, um, I, I actually stopped recording so I could clean up the mess I had made with the fuzzies on the Diet Cola that I just um, spilled all over the place. Uh, retaliation Thermos. Who's surprised? Okay, Pulsar, Seratris. I don't have the better stuff yet. And look at that shield. Pulsar, Seratris. I was going to send my transport out to that mission, but I think he goes around the pole and that would be suicide right now. If he's going to Thermos, he's going that way. I'd cut the transport's access in half. So... Let's do it this way. Uh, maybe Ilra can send its two out. Yeah. Maybe we can pause him. Maybe, oh, stall him. Alright, alright! You're not equipped, I know you're not, but... Do some damage. Uh-oh. 
I really sped that one up, didn't I? Woo! Um, well, we softened him up. But I highly doubt we're going to get him over land if he falls at that. I don't think so. I think he's going... Yeah, he's going direct. Maybe we'll shoot him. No, we did! And we got him over land! Woohoo! I love it! Love it! Oh, man. We got a huge mission. I like these missions a lot. We're down to 26 ammo over the 40, but but um, 14 of our guns took some of that clip. So that would have been 26. So actually, we didn't waste any because we... we, we, we we got um, partial clips filled and none of us tapped into that again, so we're good, we're good. Um, stasis grenades are down to 39. Um, crappy rockets, I, that's why I don't use this, because I haven't built any better rockets and these rockets won't do shit now. Uh, stun rods I can easily get rid of. Uh -huh. Let's see, I have no more armor to equip. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I built any new armor, I mean, it, nah, hasn't been long enough. Okay, so launch mission. I'm glad I got him over land. Uh, sorry about that little scout, but, you know, it takes precedence. Here we go. 20 minutes out. Well, let's go an hour out. There we go. Wasp Keeper produced. Oh, well, too late. Begin mission. You know, I didn't check to see if I had the scanner with me, and none of us have the scanner. And I have two scanners. God, man, you guys didn't warn me? Damn, man! No one's got the alien scanner, and I got a guy with plasma and shitty grenades. And I'm gonna have to play this one blind, and it's a hard mission. I didn't want to play a mission like this blind. Oh, hello. I didn't want to walk. At least I absorbed it, but get out of the fire. Okay. Duck, shoot. 99%. And 34 mechanical. 76 mechanical. <laughs> but I'm going to have to play this one blind, just like most people without the scanner. Which I didn't really want to do, but I didn't think. I was excited about the particle weapons. I was excited about downing this thing. We weren't thinking straight. We were overzealous. We were being stupid. You know. So, that's what you get. But this is the biggest ship, so it's going to take up most of the map. Look, I can even see the edge of it right there. Right here. Yeah, look at that. Huge ship. And there's a hole here. I don't have to go into the front. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, yeah, it feels good. I think most of them will actually be in the ship. So let's, let's test that theory as best we can. Well... If you guys are listening into this and not just skipping like some of the combat, kind of like I did on a few of the Let's Plays I watched, because I was actually kind of strapped for time, so a couple of the combats I would skip. But if you guys aren't skipping these combats and actually watching me do them, know that my next Let's Play, it won't be UFO. Of course, I'm not going to do it twice. Enter. No. Oh, what do you know? I'm getting hypnotized with the red glow and not the green or white glow, so that might be an Inquisitor. Not sure if that's a priest or not. Now I'm gonna have to search and find out where it's coming from. Yeah, but on my next let's play, like I was saying before the turn ended, it's gonna be a game that's a hidden gem. Not many people have heard of it, and I'm pretty sure very few people have played it. And the last time I did a search on YouTube, no one had done a let's play on it. So I really want to upload this. I was, I was actually hoping that someone had uploaded this because. I wanted to watch someone's take on it, someone's play on it. Um, and maybe they'd get past this one mission that I just had really problems getting past, but... But, but apparently no one has... I blew into a car. Come on, you had 94% accuracy and you still missed. <laughs> well, anyway. But, it'll be a little surprise. And I think that some of you guys will really enjoy it. Or you'll be like, what the hell is this game? And that's that's definitely a, a standard reaction whenever I mention it to someone. A lot of people are like, "I've never heard of that game," and it's a sad it's sad because it's actually a really cool game. Just like um, when Ben Korsha Ayatsi researched Painkiller, uh, re reviewed Painkiller, he was really surprised that Painkiller 
was as good as it was. And um, I bought it, actually, based upon that. And it turned out to actually do be a pretty good game. Huh. So. And I have it still. I have it installed. I don't know if I still have it installed or not. But I know I still have the save files because I never got rid of them. So maybe I'll do a Let's But It's not Painkiller. But maybe I'll do a Let's Play of Painkiller. Um, just for fun. But that's not going to be my next one. No. My next Let's Play is going to be something else. But you guys, I think, will be surprised. And I think you'll enjoy it. So, stay tuned, and uh, keep focused, keep your eyes on the prize, and don't give up the faith. Eh, faith, yeah. <sighs> anyway, no jokes about that today. I'm in a, I'm too good of a mood to uh, bash someone who's an easy target like that. And I'm probably going to get a lot of uh, guys coming in because I'm in this, yes, because I'm in the UFO now, and... Uh, one of them came, and a floating terror came, and I got smacked around for 19 mechanical. Oh, that armor's so nice. They're all bunching up again! Hey! Oh! Got paralyzed. We need the mine shields. Well, the advanced mine shields now. It's getting serious. 50, 50 bravery only gets you so far. So. A lot's happening, and this is taking forever. They're all bunching up right there. We know what we're gonna do. Look at him, he doesn't know what to do. He has no idea what to do. Little chicken chaser just... just and he makes that sound! And that was always a joke sound when I was a kid, growing up with my sister and my mom. We would always make that sound to represent someone running like a chicken. And now it's a fact. That sound is representing someone running like a fucking chicken. <laughs> so, what do you know? Oh, that's right, you got hypnotized. Okay, uh, well... We're going to take a step out. Yuck. I really hope a couple grenades will just ruin everyone's day in here. Ew, 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 ew. Let's heal you up. Kind of funny. They don't have line of sight of me and I can heal him and then he can throw another grenade. Ha ha ha, teamwork. How about that? I like teamwork. I'll leave it on the ground for now, because I'll probably use it again. It's less AP to pick it up off the ground. Alright, let's do this again. Yep, a couple stasis grenades. Maybe I should build more. They are useful. But then again, the antimatter grenades are much better. It's 99%. I can aim it right where I want. But everyone only has two grenades. That's the problem. Oh, here's the problem. Uh, did kill a couple of them. Uh, do you even have grenades? Yeah, some of us don't actually have the grenades. So, I'm going to have to watch that. Um, I can throw it here at 97% accuracy. Alright, alright. Uh, everything but the chicken chaser. And I can probably shoot the fucking chicken chaser. Yeah, 91% accuracy. And he's dead. His day's ruined. Alright. Um... Take a step forward. Just, just, just. You can't. You were paralyzed. That's right. Um. Then I'll just, um. Uh, well, um. Okay, um. Go here. And then we'll heal. There's no reason not to heal. And if I take a, if I take a plasma shot, in the, or a, a, a shot in the face, particle shot, It'd be nice to know that I'm resisting it, because as much as I can. Let's see, let's get a chemical guy up in here, just... Actually, come... Come here. So, so the other chem dude... Well, he's not a chem dude, but... So this guy can come here. And all my other guys, who aren't on this side... You were scouting, that's right. I really wanted to make sure there was nobody here. Because I don't have the scanner. We made a mistake. But it's great how they bunched up like that. Made my job easier. All right, you come this way. Do some more scouting. Hey, you found one. Little chicken chaser. Woohoo! Ninety-four percent. These guns are accurate too. They're one hundred and eighty percent in accuracy. This is really nice. I mean, who doesn't like that, right? A gun that's lightweight, accurate, and powerful. How can you lose, or how can you go wrong? You can't go wrong, or you can't lose. Yeah, let's go this way and just check it out. This was the birthing. 
huge ass birthday. Uh, but what you see mod, I would have had something, but nope, nope, nope. End turn. Uh, okay, a Vipon came down the stairs. And he's running scared, apparently. He's like, uh, I don't like these odds. So. Yep, there he is. I have no line of fire on him, just line of sight. I hate that. Well, he doesn't know I'm here. He's not facing this direction, so we'll just shoot him. There you go. There you go. Well, Blackworth, uh, why don't you scout up here? Hey, you found a larva. Well, then, you know what to do. Yep. Pretty much that. And look, you found a chaser. You know what to do. Pretty much more of that. <laughs> There's nobody else in here. All right, this is coming along nicely. Even though I have to feel it out, it's coming along nicely. Here, go here and explore this. Oh, you found a commander. That hit me? I thought for sure that would hit that UFO thing. Well, if you can hit me, well, no. Just because you can hit me does not mean I can hit you. We've established that. Uh, well, if I go here, I could chem him. I don't mind that at all. They have more fire, of course. Uh, less fire resistance than chemical resistance. Oh, uh, yeah, that didn't hit me. Good. Blew up the thing. The what you see mod. No. 79 mechanical damage. Uh, chemical damage. And now he gets reaction fire? Fuck, man. Well. Now I'm going to pick this up. Because you were my healer, kind of. We'll come this way. After combat, I make you feel better. Yes, I do. Well, I'm going to make you feel better before combat's over. And I still have action points. Not many, but some. And I'll waste the 10 to put it away. Not the best idea, but... I just kind of wanted to... Um, I hope he dies from the chem damage. But he might. He might just absorb it. He's a commander, after all. Oh, we'll just bunch up around the the other lift because I've already searched the other one, and Blackworth did a fantastic job on that. Good job. Hey, uh, where's my radar? Oh, I hit R. No wonder. Um. Well, search the rest of the ship down here. There could be one just standing here doing nothing. I mean, I'm not saying there is, but you never know. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you have any action point? <clears throat> Does he have the action points to? Not really, no. I mean, he's only going to uncover so much down here. Okay, and you could uncover a lot more. Yeah. I don't need all these scouts down here, obviously, but... I still wanted them down here. And you can come in, and you can go up through here. Just to scout for me. Watch there be a Vipe on there. I'll have no AP to shoot at him. Oh, wow! Well, there was something there. That's going to kick my ass this round because I have absolutely no AP. He didn't stop walking when he found it, if you notice that, which is stupid. They're supposed to. Well, we're going to get bone this round. He absorbed the chemical area damage. And I'm just taking it like a champ. Totally like a champ. Holy fuck. I'm taking it up the ass. Yeah. Yeah, I took that one, like, just... Look at that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're just gonna have to die now. Oh, one hit. One hit. Well. Okay. Um. I was gonna use that 35 pack on, but apparently the only thing we have left to do is just keep you from dying. Yeah, and... Let's walk this way. There you are. But I have no line of fire on you. I have no line of fire on you. I have no line of fire on you. I have line of fire. 99%. 67. 122. He really shot a lot of those fire shots. And that always stays an unknown weapon. That's intentional in the game, I know it. A weapon you just will never get. Which is bullshit. You're researching every alien tech, and you will never still get that tech. 
Well, no alien scanner means I have no idea if there's anyone upstairs or not. So we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oops, why did I do that? Just wasted even more action points. There are three sections here to check out. Well, there's one of them. And I do have three guys, so... Watch there be nobody. So I'm like, I'm searching for no reason. No, 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 there's there's one here. Now he's got he's got an EW weapon, so... Oh, come on! 79 critical... Come on. 54% from... Yeah, 54% from 99% because I got wounded so bad. Well, there's still one more guy down here. He's probably going to have to just run up there and heal your ass. Just to keep you from bleeding out, you know. Uh, 79, I can go down to 69 and heal you up. Drop that. Do this. There we go. What's my AP like? 22 left? I can pick that up. And then just walk this way. I guess that's everything. I don't think anyone has any action points left to actually come up this far. So we'll just have to end turn. Which was the end of the mission. No one died. 15 monsters. Alright. Well, I'd say that was worth it. I, I'd say it's worth it. Yeah, we got some time in an infirmary, but yeah, whatever. I mean, you always, you always got that. So, we got some money, and Swarm detected. Woohoo! I don't have my ships equipped, unfortunately, but this Let's Play is getting long, so tune in next time to see if I can finally take down a Swarm. Thank you for playing. For, well, I can't stop and pause here, so I'm going to have to do this. There's the leader. Okay, I'll see you next time.